Okay, so hi all. Um, welcome to my um, videos in, in statistics. And here we're going to talk more about Jamovi. So what I'm doing, what I'm using here is the Jamovi app okay, application or software application. And in, in Mac, it's also available in Windows. The thing is, this Jamovi app, um, software or application is free and it is um, intended for, for statistical purpose. So I have created already one video before this in how to use Jamovi and frequency distributions and um, how to create a, a bar graph for it. Let's have one more example regarding that. So in this example, I'm going to make use of this um, um, example here that we did in Excel some videos ago. So what we're going to do is we will recreate this using Jamovi and you will see how how easy it is this time when we are using the application Jamovi. We also have the, the bar graphs here in the, in the broad graph. Anyways, um, this, um, this example is talking about the scores of 12 psychiatric patients on a five-point anxiety scale level. So the higher the number, um, the higher their anxiety level is, the lower it is, so the lower it. So what we're going to get is these scores here. Okay, we're going to copy this and paste this in Jamovi. I'm just going to make use of the first variable. Paste. Okay, and then we're going to rename this A. Let's call this scores. Yes, simply scores. You, you may want to change this if you have your own research or your own study. Now we want to show um, the frequency distribution of this the scores here. Okay, let's click on the exploration and click the descriptives. Okay, what it will show us is this window. Um, we don't have any values in B and C, so what we want to get is the scores. We want to click this one to put it in variables, and it will show on here on the right right part, this right part here, um, the the statistics of this scores here. So if I if I'm going to click the statistics and this plots uh, i have more options um, other than what is uh, what is shown what will be shown by default in this part here okay so anyways it's still loading i will click on the frequency distribution tables so here it is okay so what it's showing here in the descriptives is the end the missing the minimum maximum mean and medians that is because that's the one that i have shown you so if I'm going to click others, um, it will also show other values. But I will just unclick them for now, since it may it may uh, confuse you. Um, again, we're on a five point anxiety level scale. That's basically an ordinal level. Okay, so um, getting the mean might not be that not be that effective because we don't again in in the ordinal scale. We don't know the intervals between between um between levels. So here we have here um we have the frequency distribution. We have the levels one one two five three, which is the same with our Excel values one one two five three. What remains for us to do is to create the bar plots or the bar graph. Click the bar plot here. It will give you this um plot here, which is the bar graph of the anxiety point or anxiety level scale. You, mo you may also want to try and experiment on the other plots. It can, it will um, pursue, produce your plots on whatever you click them to do. Okay, it's still loading. Um, if you want, we can create a, a histogram for that. Okay, so for the histogram, um, it's still loading. For the histogram, the only difference of the of the bar graph and the histogram is that in the histogram, it has no, it ha there's no um, spaces between between um between categories so this is a bar graph right so we have one one two five four for the histogram there's no there's no spaces here in between so that's just the import the difference of a histogram and a bar plot um let me show you in a while so this is a histogram now what we want to do is to click on the density so that it, it can produce the density or the actually the shape of the distribution okay um so here, it is, here it is as you can see there's a line there which is a curve if i'm going to unclick the or uncheck the histogram it will just give us the distribution or the density of the of the of the value so we can see here this is the density or the distribution the shape of the distribution of this um variables okay so 
we can see here that this is one example of a negatively skewed distribution or a left skewed distribution. Okay, a left skewed distribution is one distribution wherein most of the scores are high and it's a skew to the left. Okay, it's a skew to the left. Um, a positively skewed distribution, which is the opposite of this, um, the, the bulge is over here and it, it's a skew on the right. Okay, so when you say it's negatively skewed distribution, uh, most of the scores are high. If you say that it's a positive, if you say that it's a positively skewed distribution, most scores are low. And when it is a mirror image, a, a, a perfect, um, a perfect um, sym symmetry, we call it a symmetric distribution. Okay, so again, this is a, a left skewed distribution. Okay, so that's it for this video. Just another example on how to how to use the descriptives in Jamovi, and how Jamovi makes our lives very much easier. Um, to understand so that's it for this video um thank you very much for watching hope that you would like and subscribe okay and thank you